So this question says, Mr. Cole has a beaker containing N milliliters of solution to distribute to the students in his chemistry class. So I'll just write N ML solution. If he gives each student three milliliters of solution, he will have five milliliters left over. So this N right goes out in increments of three but there's like five left over, right? So all the students get three and there's five left over. In order to give each student four milliliters of solution, he will need an additional 21 milliliters, right? So he would need whatever N was plus 21 so that each student would get four. How many students are in the class? Well, this is a great question for just using process of elimination, right? You can also consider this to be like plug-in answers in essence, but the question doesn't give us a specific formula. It just gives us a process. So here's what I mean by that. For instance, answer choice A says, well, there are 16 students. Well, if 16 students got three milliliters each, that would be 16 times three, which would mean that you'd have 48, but because there were five left over, you'd have to add five to that, which takes you up to 53. That means you'd have 53 milliliters of solution, okay? Now you take that same 53 milliliters and you add 21, which gets you to 74. And then you would say, well, again, if I have 16 students, then I should be able to say, that 16 times 4 equals 74, but it does not equal 74, right? Because in this scenario, we'd have none left over. So 16 times 4 does not equal 74. So this is not correct. So I cross out answer choice A. Choice B would be to say, well, if I had 21 students who all received 3 milliliters, well, that's 63. And again, after giving them all 3 milliliters, I would have had five left over. So that means I would have started out with 68. Now I take that 68 and I add 21, which takes me up to 89. So those 89 milliliters should evenly be distributed to the 21 students that I have if I were to give them all four. But I know that 21 times four is also not 89. Right, 21 times 4 is just 84. So answer choice B can also not be correct. So choice C, if we do this again, let's say we had 23 students. So 23 times 3, which is 69, plus 5 gets us up to 74. But then those 74, you would have to add 21 to that, which gets you to 95. And then we have to say that 23 times 4 equals 95 and that definitely also is not true this equals 92 so this is not equal 95 so c is out so hopefully d is correct because it's all that's left but i always try the last answer even if i assume well it must be right because hey maybe i made a math error on a previous answer choice so let's try this so let's say we have 26 students they each get three i'm gonna go to my calculator for this so actually well it's, I want to encourage that you use your calculator. You do not have to do all this in your head. So 26 times three in my calculator, that is 78. I add the five that would have been left over. So it takes me to 83. Now that 83 plus an additional 21 takes me up to 104. And again, if I had 26 students and I handed or I gave them all Four milliliters that actually does equal 104 perfect so then we know that there must be 26 students in mr. Cole's class